Mona Makram Ahmed, welcome. Uh, you're a former member of the Egyptian Senate, and I have a feeling you're a big supporter of Abdel Fattah Sisi, the new Egyptian president, who has his critics. What's your defense of President Sisi? First of all, President Sisi has had a public uh, a referendum, let's say, to when he came to power. We all supported him, and about 20 to 30 million, depending who's saying it, uh, went down to the street to support him, to give him sort of a power of attorney to fight terrorism. Uh, as you can see in the opening of the cana Suez Canal, this is to show you the credibility that he has, when he asked the Egyptians to participate so that this becomes an Egyptian project, we got 64 million, uh, billions in less than a week, meaning all of Egypt has participated. And those who wanted to participate later on, it was closed already. So this shows you the credibility he has acquired. I don't say that there are no mistakes. I don't say that we don't have reservations to, to a lot of policies that are being taken. But the man is facing incredible challenges, whether internal or external. If you were advising him, how would you solve, how should he solve the challenge of terrorism? We look at the events recently in Sinai, for example. Look, terrorism cannot be sold only through a security prism. There's no way. We tried that before, it failed. So there must be somehow, and this is also for the international community, to realize that you must get to the roots of it. And the roots of it means that there are frustrated young people who join because of unemployment, because of corruption, because of uh, uh, economic uh, ha hardship, and so on. So we ask the international community today to support Egypt in these particular challenges by seeing what the youth needs. And I was very pleased with the Swiss uh, president today when he insisted on vocational training. And I'm going back home to form an NGO on vocational training because this is the key. Education is the key to stop also the demographic explosion that we have. So Muna, what, I mean, you often come to the WPC. What does the WPC provide for you? Oh, it provides a fantastic platform to be able to express yourself openly, to be able to meet uh, people of intelligence, people who have uh, the experience, citizens of the world. That's what I'm meeting. Mona Makhlouf, thank you very much indeed. Shukran Gazilin.